Jake, tell us what's going on this morning. Well, it's another week and another clean-up operation because, of course, last week we had Storm Pier, didn't we, that put pay to plenty of plans in the run-up to Christmas as far as travel was concerned. It caused huge disruption. This week it's Storm Garrett, and only this time it maybe have been upgraded as well to a tornado, no less, something that perhaps we're more akin to seeing in the movies or, of course, over in North America. And as you can see over to my left here, some of the damage that has been caused, the rubble and the tree that's fallen down through this wall. We've got, obviously, the broken wall and the tree that has luckily now begun to be cut up by tree surgeons. So the rescue effort and the clean-up operation, as you would call it, very much has started and is in full flow. And as luck would have it, I'm actually joined by the woman whose house that it is on my left alongside me here, Jane Butterworth. Jane, thank you very much for talking to us. Well, as far as you're concerned, what happened here and where were you at the time? Well, my husband and son had just watched the City match. They were so happy. Um, I thought I'd go and make a cup of tea. I was in the kitchen. I heard an enormous, loud noise, like the, he the heaviest hailstones I've ever heard. So I looked out of the back briefly and saw things blowing around. My son then ran into the front and said, Mum, you've got to come and see. And he looked out of the front window and saw this tree here, half of the tree, one bough of it, fallen on my car. And then a minute later, the wall came down because clearly the tree had flexed and the wall came down. And I just couldn't believe what I was seeing at all. It was, it was I've never seen anything like it, really. Um, the, the noise, though, and it was all over in couple of minutes absolutely incredible the noise must have been absolutely deafening absolutely. Uh, did you uh, did you have any idea that the, that the tree wasn't even falling into the house i didn't know i didn't i didn't know what had happened because obviously it was it was you know late in the evening so i had no idea quite what had happened um and then almost as quickly as the wall had fallen down we were confronted to the wrong word astonished to see a collection of neighbours, passers-by, basically what we call in this area handballing, handballing the stone onto the pavement out of the road because it must have been all over the road. All of our neighbours over here, passers-by, just all putting all this stone on the pavement out of the way. I then immediately was on 999 and I had to make three two different 999 calls because they don't interconnect. So I, first of all, I asked for fire because I thought, well, the fire service come and deal with this kind of thing. And then, of course, the police. Um, the police came really quite quickly. The fire service, I think, had to go elsewhere because it was there were so many other things. There was roads completely blocked. And so they prioritised, I think, quite well. Um, and it's just now basically dealing with the aftermath of this. And have you been told what is going to, what could or what might happen next? No, nobody's telling me anything. Um, a local authority, I have spoken to my local authority on the emergency number that they have, um, but they just take the details and nobody's got back to me at all. Uh, I believe that uh, the second tree surgeon that came yesterday was appointed by the local authority. I don't really know that, but I haven't really had any support from the local authority in that way. Nobody's been and knocked on my door and said, this is what we're going to do. That's what I thought might happen. But it is somewhat unprecedented. I've never heard of anything like this. I don't know quite, quite what to expect, really. Um, my insurance company have kind of, yes, OK, have you got a crime reference? No. Have you got an incident reference? Oh, I'm not sure. Uh, it, all that, it's panic stations, really. So I spent a lot of time on the phone. <laughs> Not, not ideal at all. Jane, thank you, thank you very much for talking to us. As, as you can hear, guys, then, the community spirit was in full force, but as far as what happens next, things a little bit up in the air for most of the people living around here.